table. Here's the sample in the middle. Here's the color. There's a lot going on on this table. It's all sorts of base colors down there, stuff that's, when I stripped it out, it had a, uh, I called it xylene. It's actually an aniline dye because it bled right out and pulled over a whole bunch of red under this oak here, which was not expected at all. I didn't expect that. But anyways, when I did that, all the boards that were in here, all that even brown color was gone and all this presented itself, all this hidden wood. So you get surprised when you were finishing. You never know what you're gonna get, and that was a total surprise. This table changed colors on me. It looks great, don't get me wrong, but it changed colors. Here's the base here. Here's the base right there. And you can see the base compared when you, with the um, sample over there, the colors right there. So it's just so many different types of woods. This is mahogany here. This is mahogany, this is mahogany. It's a mahogany base. This is walnut, all this inside here. This is oak over here. This is birch down here. There's so many different types of woods. It's, it's driving me insane because I, I know that I've done all the right, I've taken all the right steps. Oh, seems, oh, so many different colors. Watch what happens when I open the door. There it goes. Let the doors open up. There's so much going on. It's a good match with everything. The color's there on everything. It really is. You just, it has to sit there. This piece has, the, look, it, it's all here, but it's actually not there because it changes colors. Oh, oh my goodness, it's wood. Goodness gracious. Okay.